Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Black Oil Global's daily market update. Starting off with the cable today and it enjoyed a strong rally thanks to solid growth figures. UK GDP came in at 0.7% quarter on quarter, which is what the market was expecting. This caused a surge in the pound thanks largely to relief buying, as many were pleased that the figure did not fall short of the mark. This will also add weight to the argument for a rate rise later on this year, which uh, would certainly swing the sentiment towards the bullish side for the pound. Looking now at the US dollar and it traded weaker over the last 24 hours thanks to a sharp decline in consumer confidence. The index fell from 101.4 to 90.9 over the course of a month, which is a worrying sign for the US economy, especially with the FOMC meeting scheduled for later on tonight. The Fed is widely expected to hold interest rates steady once again, but could indicate a rate rise in September is on the cards. Either way, we expect the US dollar to be volatile. And moving on now to crude oil, and it rallied thanks to a drop in oil inventories. Yesterday, oil hit a four, a, sorry, it hit a four monthly low on concerns of oversupply, but it quickly lifted to close a dollar a bar barrel higher. The American Petroleum Institute released their crude Im oil inventory figures, which showed a draw on reserves of 1.9 million barrels in a week. The official government figures are due for release later on tonight, and if they back up the API figure, we could see an end to the current short-term bear trend in oil. And finally today our analyst pick for the day is the Aussie dollar. It's found a bit of support yesterday thanks to the weaker US dollar um, and it has pulled back up to their recent resistance. The trouble in China and expected rate cuts from the RBA are likely to fundamentally weaken the Aussie over the coming weeks, so we could see the recent lows tested. That's all we have time for today. For Blackwell Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.